Hi Virgo, welcome. This is your reading for the end of November where I'll be taking a look at your current energy, what is coming towards you and what the universe has to say to you. Virgo, this reading is general so you may or may not resonate with the entire message. Having said that, let's jump right in and see what messages we have for you. What are the messages from Virgo's higher selves to themselves? What does Virgo's higher self want them to know? What is Virgo's current energy? We have the five of wands. So this is when Virgo, uh, you know, our will uh, from inside of us is kind of all over the place. Um, now this could be manifesting in the physical outside of you where where people around you could be in conflict or all over the place. But we need to start with the understanding that everything is vibration and everything that we manifest around us is an extension of ourselves and with the five of wands here you know we have the nine of wands underneath the deck um, you could be experiencing clashes clashes of personality or this could be parts of yourself which is not sure um, of by by parts of yourself i mean to say it's it's like for example you could be not sure about at this time whether to function from your ego or to function from your higher self you know should you be compassionate or should you stand your ground uh, you know should you be um, should you be receptive to this energy or should you take action as a masculine the various aspects of you the duality uh, that we all embody um, that could be you know something that you're struggling with with the five of wands here um, let's get a clarifying energy We have the Ten of Pentacles. So this could be happening, uh, you know, in your physical realm. Like um, the, the Ten of Pentacles is what we have created with all the ingredients uh, that the Divine gave us. You know, um, is let, let's, let's just say like, for example, like if you have all the ingredients and, you know, fire and water and air, uh, what dish would you cook? you know and uh, what would be the outcome what what would be your recipe what would be your formula what would be your magic formula to make the recipe or to make the dish happen and this is like the dish that's happened or the manifestation and this is the the this is the this is the problems with with what has been manifested so I just gave you an example of a dish. So let's say like, let's say you were cooking something, making a soup or a broth and you don't know whether to put, you know, should I put more vegetables? Should I put more, should, should I put more salt? Uh, should I put some more seasoning? And you know, when we're, let's say you're conf conflicted while you're cooking and then the dish that comes out will be not the best kind of dish. And this is what has happened here. So just apply this to your life or your situation where because there was a, a, a lack of clarity about because the will was not aligned, you know, with the divine. Um, because of the confusion, the output, uh, the, confu the confusion that one experience or the, conf the, the conflict from which one approached a manifestation has now manifested in the physical with the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, let's see what is coming towards you in the immediate future. What can Virgo expect in the immediate future? We have the Ten of Wands. So we move from the Five to the Ten in the immediate future um, this is this is actually good where I feel like you know there's been a distortion 
there's been a distortion in something that has been manifested and with the ten of wands in the immediate future I do see you trying to keep things together but you know this is not realistic this man has to reach the village here and he's barely able to move with the weight that he's carrying on his shoulders so you're going to have to drop some burdens you're going to have to release some baggages which are which may not even be yours to begin with and uh, you know with the ten of wands in the immediate future with the ten of wands in the immediate future from the five of wands um, you know I see you trying to keep it together but I feel like ultimately you are going to you know put down the weight and embrace that ace of wands that new spark of inspiration that will give you the will to create something the ten is also an ending with the ten of pentacles and the ten of wands you know this is your this is your reality as you have manifested it and um, what you have manifested is heavy and you're feeling the weight of it in the immediate future with the ten of wands so let's clarify the ten of wands we have the nine of cups lovely so with the nine of cups here showing up and the ten of wands this combination together i feel like virgo you're processing your feelings you're processing your past emotional baggages uh, you're mastering the number nine here which deals with the unconscious it deals with moon energy the nine here uh, you know, this is you um, understanding that in order for you to uh, manifest happiness and the Ten of Cups, you know, instead of a Ten of Wands, uh, that your emotions need to be processed first. Uh, the Nine of the nine of cups is an energy it's a solitary energy and why is this why why is this important because this comes before the ten of cups and the ten of cups is the shared happiness and i feel like virgo you're understanding that if you're not happy by yourself with yourself in yourself within yourself if you're not happy in your own company if you're not happy with your own life and the way you are if you're unhappy you will be spreading that unhappiness in the Ten of Cups, which will make the Ten of Cups in the reverse and make it a Ten of Wands. And I feel like with the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Cups, you're kind of, you're bringing back focus to yourself. You're not trying to control the external environment. You're mastering yourself. You're mastering your emotions. You're processing any past baggages, emotional baggages that might have been making you feel blocked, that might have been keeping you uh, feeling heavy uh, with the nine of uh, cups here you know it's like you know yes life is difficult and and that and you know there's a lot uh, there's a lot of responsibilities but bring it on you know I can handle it I have whatever it uh, whatever one needs I have I have the I have processed everything and I'm happy to take on the challenges of life you know that is, that is the energy that you're heading towards in the immediate future. So what does the universe have to say to Virgo? What does the universe have to say to Virgo? Virgo's higher self to them. We have the seven of cups. As you're making, as you're mastering the number nine and be learning to be happy with yourself, uh, you know, and learning to process your emotions and uh, before you can uh, you know learning to be content before you can spread spread it in a shared dynamic you're being uh, reminded by your higher self to not make choices from your shadow self and what is your shadow self that part that part of you that that believes the hurt the pain that oh i don't deserve the best love i don't deserve pure love i don't deserve to be loved or you know whatever it is whatever it may be that I'm always going to have enemies I'm so and so is always going to hate me or you know things are always going to be bad and ah oh, this shit you know there's always going to be trouble and we're always going to fight uh, we're always going to clash no 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 
no no that's the part of, that's the hurt part of you that's coming to that conclusion and your higher self wants you to remind you that you could be projecting your hurt and pain onto other people uh, to you know your immediate environment to the people around you uh, so you need to watch out be careful to not project your hurt your pain or any confusion that you're feeling from within and of course when you're making choices always remember that you are loved by the divine and that you're a spark of the divine and you're not a shadow in the dark corner of the world you know and that all your choices are aligned with your higher self and with the true love of the divine so virgo this is what i have for you if you're still watching thank you for your patience thank you for your likes shares and subscribes and i will catch you again soon later bye